Welcome back. Now we are still working with a specific audience. What we can do is create a campaign. If we click the email campaign, which is typically what we're going to be using, you will have noticed that you can also send an automated campaign. We're going to click this tab. And you'll notice here that there are several kinds of automation emails. And these are emails that will be sent automatically based on a customer's behavior. So for example, you'll see here that we can have a specific email sent to a subscriber when they are tagged. We can have a blog update sent to them automatically. When they become new subscribers, we can have them welcomed. We can also say happy birthday. So there are several different kinds of automation emails. We're going to start by looking at subscriber activity. Typically, what you want to happen is that when someone becomes a new subscriber, you want them to be sent a specific welcome email. So what we're going to do is we're going to click Create Automation Email. And we're going to call this a specific campaign. We're going to call this Single Welcome Email, but we can change the name and make it whatever you want. And so we now have a specific welcome email. We're now going to select a specific audience. And then we're going to click Begin. Now when you select the welcome email setting, you'll notice then that MailChimp sets this up so that the email that we are about to create will be sent automatically as soon as an individual becomes part of our email list. And so all of our settings that we have, we can edit them if we want to change them. For example, we may not want our welcome email to say thanks for joining us. So we might want to edit the statement. So we'll click Save. Of course, we will edit and design our content, but assuming that you know what you want to write, we're going to leave this as it is. Now, this is the simplest automation email. What we're now going to do is we're going to start sending this email so that as soon as someone becomes part of our video tutorials list, they will be sent a specific email. We're going to click Start Now. But now let's assume that what we want to do is we want to follow up with those same individuals. So we're going to create another automation. We're going to stop the video right here and we're going to pick it up from adding in a follow-up email. We are now within our automation screen where we want to create a follow-up email. What we have now done is we have set up so that all of the subscribers that join a specific list, they're going to be sent a welcome email. What we want to do now is we want to make sure that they receive another email after a certain period of time has passed. So we're going to now click custom. And we are going to call this a specific campaign. We're now going to give this campaign a name. We're going to select a specific audience. We're then going to click begin. Now what we need to do is we need to make sure that there is a specific trigger. And this campaign is going to start one day after the person has been added. So what's going to happen is that the person is going to get the welcome email as soon as they join. And then one day after they've joined, they're going to get this second email. We're going to make sure that it's scheduled on any day of the week. We're not going to make sure that it's filtered by tag. We just want to make sure that when the individual is signed up with the list, one day afterward, they're going to get a specific message. And then we're going to not add in any post send actions. Now, what we could do is we could make it so that it becomes two days or seven days or even one week. So we have full customization over the trigger date. Once we've done that, all we need to do then is to make sure that our email is going to be written. And so we're going to write in the identifying information. We're then going to click Next. We'll then choose our template and then write in our content. 
Once we've done that, we can then click Next. Once we've done that, then MailChimp will ask us to confirm that we are ready to start our campaign. And basically now what's going to happen is that one week after the individual has received that welcome email, they're going to receive another email with a message that we want them to receive after the fact. Now it's possible that we may want to send another email or another series of emails after this one to the same audience. And we'll cover that in the next video. Or we confirm and start the new series. What we want to do is to go back one screen from this follow-up campaign screen. And you're going to notice another link here and it says add another email. So we can add another email to this series to this audience. We're going to click add another email and basically we now have another automation email. So what we're going to do now is we're going to design this email. First we're going to determine the trigger and we could state that this email is going to be another week after the previous automation email. So in other words what's going to happen is that an individual is going to get a welcome email then after one week they're going to get another email and then they're going to after another week get the email that we're setting up right now. We're now going to update the trigger and now the trigger has been updated so that it says one week. We're still going to leave all the other emails in place and basically this is now the second email in our series. Again we're going to design our email in order to go out to say what we wanted to say. We'll click design email and then we'll write in our identifying information and we can do this as many times as we want to add emails. We'll then click next. We'll then see the campaign and we'll then click start sending. Now this email is going to be in a section called workflows and knowing where the workflows are is important because it could be that once a campaign has started we may want to come back to that campaign. We may then want to edit that campaign. We may then want to come back and then add in another email and set it up for a specific time. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.